Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another episode of The Last Kingdom in Aurora Forex. And in previous episode, uh, we managed to capture the Congo down here. We have done a bit of a time skip here, about a year ish, I think. Not entirely sure, but that's kind of the scale. Anyway, so in the meanwhile, we've still had some ships over here doing some raiding. The ships that we found here guarding the jump gate. We actually had to take them all the way, or we <laughs> had them chasing the blue shark all the way to somewhere like there. I had some waypoints over there rather recently still. Uh, we went over there and then they decided to turn back because they ran out of fuel. Or more or less run out of fuel, I reckon. So, yeah. But that did basically. There was no one guarding the jump gate at, or jump point at that point in time. So the. Transport got safely over here. We did capture the how to clear a one, so let's have a quick look at that, just to show what's in there. So it had 1.5 million population. They had some uh, regular infrastructure in here, which I used Space Master mode to transfer to the human colony because this planet is regular gravity for us, but for them it's low gravity. So I figured that I moved that there. But there's also a research facility, a mine, fuel refinery, two financial centers, terraforming installation, deep space tracking station, and naval headquarters. Actually, I didn't realize there was the naval headquarters here, but that's actually that could be useful. Anyway, uh, also there's some fuel, but since there's no refueling stations or refueling systems in here, we can't really refuel there. And the political status is already the subjugated. So it's gone up from the uh, point that we occupied it, it's gone up by two tiers. But now we are ready to do a landing on the, pri or the guarded planet over here. So we're currently orbiting the moon with the Congo. We have 50 kilotons of uh, ground forces there. And we could carry a bit more, but we just don't have all that many troops around here, other than police forces. And I don't really want to send them into combat because they'll basically die. I mean, technically, a long con might be that we'd lower their supplies, but at the same time, that's probably not going to work well. But we have the troops, so let's actually go ahead and do the landing in. So it's the A2. So since this is actually drop cable ship, uh, we'll, the troops will be in combat immediately. Uh, so just unload all. Ah, or we'll drop all crown units. There we go. So that shouldn't take too long, and then we'll start our fighting over there. In terms of research, we are now getting the Magnetic Plasma Drive. It's going to be still pretty far away in total. We did get the 5,000 kil kilometers per second tracking speed. Partially from uh, dismantling some of the components that we found. And where, of course, we were researching it already, so there's that, and there's a few other things that we've gotten from the wrecks that we've been salvaging. But let's go ahead with this, so how long it's gonna take? Relatively little to get in there. Okay, you got your things done. I'm gonna send you back to the moon, just in case. Now we do have some uh, ships guarding the jump point. At least so that we'll have a warning if there's anything coming this way. Uh, the ships over there are probably not going to be strong enough to actually destroy if there's some, a lot of enemy ships coming through. But they should at least allow us to keep an eye on it a little bit. And Oh right, Congo completed orders. Now I know that it's 8 hour increments when the crown combat happens. So this may be very bloody first Actually, before we even start the combat, um, let's just double check that we have everything set up correctly. Because otherwise, it's going to be too late. Oh, we don't actually have everything set up correctly. Well, it's a good thing that we checked. So we've got this brigade that you need to be in rear echelon. And then you need 
need to be in rear echelon. The charger battalions will will put into front line attack. Simply that they'll be able to utilize their maneuver rating to avoid some of the fire at least. And then footmen and knights will probably stay as a defensive line. So what we'll have is we'll have the vehicles attack, infantry defend, and then we'll have some um, fire hurlers and stuff like that that will be in support position and provide some support. Also, you need to be in a rear echelon and you will be used for reinforcements. Then you will provide support for the knights just to make them a bit better in combat. Then over here we got another supply battalion so you will put you into rear echelon and use for replacements. So technically at least if this works correctly then the regiment should be or regiment and or brigade should be taking their in oh actually you need to be put into rear echelon as well. They should be taking their re or reinforcing the supplies as needed from the supply battalions but it might not work but we'll see in a few moments i guess right so you'll support the knight battalion as well and then the headquarters itself go to rear echelon and we've got one more over here so let's start with the headquarters rear echelon i'm pretty sure that these are set up correctly already but okay, so you stay defense, you go for support. And you can probably provide support for actually provide support for one of the charger battalions. To provide a bit more boost for the charge abilities. Frontline attack, yes. There we go, so that's the brigade, and then we got four regiments and five battalions that are independently working right now. Right, well, that's the ground forces set. We do have the moon over here, so it has one regiment of police battalions, another regiment of ultra bikes, and then one footman battalion, and another two battalions of orbit pikes. But yeah, um, now I think we're ready for the battle. Let's have a look. It's gonna be a massacre. Probably. Okay. Um, that's a long list, so we'll have to take a look at from here. Oh wow, it is a long list. Let's have a look at the... Okay, um... Oh wow. Construction vehicles. Armor strength of the alien ground unit infantry has been calculated as 50. Oh wow. Hit point values. Okay, so is there a. We destroy at least some of the infantry, that's for sure. And resupply infantry. There should be some sort of uh, loss summary. There's the each. You need separately, but is there Ah Crown Defense Summary? Um Oh okay, so we destroyed thirty one infantry, four anti air team, one anti tank team, one resupply infantry. We lost hundred footmen squads, twenty rapid fire squads, ten pierce squads, seven pierce punchers, six rapid fire punchers, um Five night squads, two fire direction squads, two rapid fire chargers, and one pierce charger. Okay then. Um, I wonder. Let's have a look at the ground unit a little bit since we now have a bit more information about them. So we know the infantry has armor strength of 15. That's a lot more than what we have, of course. Well, basically they have the Tech 10 and then they have uh, some armor on those, which I don't think some... Well, at least the basic inventory on our side probably doesn't have it yet. But probably the next generation will have to get a bit more armor on them. And then... Armor penetrated... 
42 units destroyed, 31. Okay. We hit 123 of them. Okay. Then they got the HQ, which we have not destroyed yet. Resupply inventory, we've destroyed one. We don't know much about them though. Contraction vehicles, we've hit five of them. We penetrated one of the armor. An anti tank team, we destroyed one. And the anti air teams, we've destroyed four. Okay. Alright then. Well, um, let's actually take a five second. Okay, so it did lower the tonnage there a little bit. Can we see the total tonnage what we have there? How much did we lose? Rather, about two ton or two kilotons. That's not good. That's not good at all. Now I want. Oh, yeah, I would hear the. Oh wait, that's a different planet. Never mind. Uh, I wonder, did we actually take any of the supplies away from here? No, that's still full. I suppose we, well, we're still fully supplied, so we can go on for a little while before we need to start using the supply battalions. Alright then, uh, did you, you didn't lose anything, did you? I don't think you killed anything either. Oh, you used some supplies, so you have at least been firing. Morale hasn't gone up though, but... Okay. Right, well, let's take another eight hour increment and see what happens now. Ah, Crown Combat Intelligence. So we estimate they have 678 infantry, 13 anti-tank teams, 54 anti-air teams, 31 construction vehicles, 6 resupply infantry, and 3 infantry HQs. So then if we have a look at the... Summary, so we lost another 100 footman squads. Wait, is this the... okay. Uh, we lost... it's basically similar losses as on the previous round for our side. Um, we destroyed 21 infantry, 3 anti-tank teams, 2 construction vehicles and 1 resupply infantry. Okay, so this battle is probably not going to go all that well. Let's take another 5 second increment. Okay, so they did at least lose a bit more tonnage there. Let's have a quick look at the tonnage that we have here. So it went down by another 2,000 tons. More or less. Uh, actually a little bit more than that, but... Seem to be still holding on. At least. So this has lost 500 tons. You've lost... 120... We've lost a full thousand tons. Oh wow. That means that we've lost an entire footman battalion here. What about you? You lost 440. You lost almost a thousand. It's mostly the puncher battalion. Presumably the one without supply. No, actually, it's been the one that is being all supported. That's lost that. Okay, well, how about you give your support to the other one then? And can we actually show elements now pop up just in case? So, this Contra Battalion is just one HQ, so I'll just say in there. It takes you a little bit over your limit. But I think it will be alright. And then we're going to get rid of this unit. Um, delete formation. We don't need to show the elements anymore and the mount pop-up isn't really required. Okay, so at least we... Hold on, where's the thing? Here. We'll clean up a little bit. I suppose we could actually set the Knight Battalion under there now. Just to have it be taking advantage of the command. Oh, there's no commanding officer for this. Did we lose the regiment headquarters over here? No, we still have it. Actually, got two of them just in case. All right then. Well, the battle continues. So we estimate. But okay, our estimations over there are oh, oh, good. Error range fifty percent. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at the summaries over here. So we lost another 104 footman squads, almost 100 knight squads, 
36 rapid fire squads. Okay, we're taking rather heavy losses here. Lost one firestorm charger as well. We're gonna have to update a lot of our ground unit designs. Destroy another 20 infantry, 3 anti air, and 2 anti tank teams. Alright, let's have a look at the numbers that we. or if there's any new updates about their design. So the anti air has armor. we don't actually know. We penetrated their armor 11 times. They got pretty good penetration on their weapon there, and then you got even higher penetration. We destroyed three of your teams, we've hit 22. Construction vehicles, we've destroyed only two. Infantry, we've destroyed 72. I don't know, I mean, we are doing some damage on them, but it might not be quickly enough. If we have a look at the cattle or the size now over here, we've lost. 3.2 kilotons of crown units. Now, to be fair, part of that may be to supply unit being used. Come to think of it. I mean, yeah, these have used a lot. Uh, you actually have room for another one. I could probably combine the footman battalions. So let's do that. Oh, yeah. We can uh, delete that formation. Oh, we've said this to be used as reinforcements. Okay. Um, right. Then we'll set one of the charger battalions under that headquarters, just so that they'll be in the hierarchy. It should help them a little bit. Then, is there any more over here? We could easily fit in another two for this one. And what about you? You're mostly full. There's still room under this one, I suppose. Or is there... Okay, that's over 5,000. That's less than 5,000. This... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's just assign you under the brigade there. Directly. Oh, right, actually. Uh, you know what, you'll be under the headquarters itself. It should be alright. Okay, there we go. We at least have all the units in hierarchies now. So that should provide them a little bit of bonuses. I'm not entirely sure how much in total. Apparently the brigade doesn't have a leader at all right now. I'm not entirely sure if it's because... No, they do have headquarters there. No one's just been assigned there. Interestingly enough. Alright then, well, actually, intelligence updates. Oh, and we just identified the anti tank team as infantry. Alright then. Okay, we estimate their infantry now to be 750 ish, or 743, but yeah, there's still a lot of units in there, what we can tell. Now, let's have a look at these summaries again. So, attack summary, we just got another 20 infantry, 2 anti tanks, and 2 anti air teams. And then. Suffered a massive amount of losses again. Let's have a look. How much do we have still at the planet here? Okay, we've lost 20% of our troops so far. I'm not entirely sure how much they've lost. Although, if we take another 5 second increment, we can... Oh, it hasn't gone down that much. They've lost... Probably... two or 3,000 total, considering... Well, actually, not necessarily that much, but at least a 1,000... Probably closer to 2,000 tons of crown unit. I mean, they've dug in its infantry, so they got a pretty good bonus. They've got a lot of crown or construction units, so they have uh, probably up to fortification level 6. Which means that, yeah, the attack force over here was, uh, or our attack force was about 2 to 1 in number or tonnage, but of course they have a bit higher quality troops. Well, let's take another increment here. Right, so we lost an... oh wow, that is a lot of troops again. Well, it's mostly infantry that we're losing. No, actually we're starting to lose fire hurlers, so they are probably doing some... Let's see, are they doing... Uh, breakthroughs or anything? Or maybe they just... well actually I'm not entirely sure if they have any 
bombardment weapons, so it might just be that our front line is... Or front, front line defense is just falling apart. Okay, so we we'll destroy 24 infantry, 3 anti-tank teams. And we lost a massive amount of units. Okay. So how's the numbers now? 37. So that is another about 3,000 tons of troops. Alright, then. well at least everyone's in a brigade now or regiment, so we'll have some supplies that can be used. Which reminds me, we have used some of that. We do have some footman squads down here that can possibly be used as reinforcements for the front line, I suppose. Although, let's have a look. So you are still in support position. You got your full... Okay, so you haven't been attacked about here, because I know that one of the fire hurlers was hit pretty bad. I'm not entirely sure where. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, this one. Yeah, there's only footman there. By now, is there? That's full. That's not full. Okay, let's just move the footman squads into the knight squad. Or knight battalion, rather, and we can get rid of that formation. Well, that should help at least a little bit. That one's still full. Oddly enough, that, yeah, that is still full. I haven't been firing on those troops, but this one's lost almost entirely the 9th Battalion. So I suppose I'll just send the Footman Squads and the Battalion Headquarters to the Footman Battalion there. I will delete the formation there. To make a bit more room for troops. The question is, do I want to start Tracking units from the individual regiments into the brigade already, or I mean, I suppose if, if we have and we don't have a leader, okay, let's have a look. Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Sorry about that. Actually, no, that was the crown force. I was supposed to close that. Right. Uh, so leaders, if we have a look at the um, crown forces, I'm not entirely sure where the brigade is. So either the 56th or 84th. Let's have a quick confirmation about that. 56th, okay. So 56th, um... Need to be Knight Commander. Oh, that's Naval Officer, never mind. Crown Force co Commander, okay, there we go. So we've got one that technically could do it, but it's technically too high rank. Okay, the first brigade commander, I'm just gonna send you down to the 56th. So you can provide some yeah, you'll get a bit more defense bonus from that. And then let's actually have a look. There's so many regiments I'm not gonna bother going through all of them. Right, but let's have a look at them. Okay, so we did destroy some of the troops again. Uh, we do have quite a bit of units in production. So actually, no, we don't have a lot of them. Uh, although, it might actually be a wise idea. I mean, these will still take some time to build. It might be a good idea to start upgrading our units, because we have gotten the better, uh, slightly better weapons and armor since the previous time. So we could almost at least meet up them with the army. I'm not entirely sure about the weapon strength or penetration. Probably not quite yet. But we'll have a look at how this battle goes. It's probably going to be a loss, in all fairness. Um, let's have a look at the information here again. So we lost a massive amount of troops. How many did we kill? 1401 anti-tank. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, well that's uh, unfortunate. Now down to 33,000 tons. I think it might actually be slowing down a little bit. I have a feeling that... Well, no, they do have the infantry supply units there, so they are not going to run out of supplies quite yet. I dare say. Let's take another increment here. I know that we're technically out of time, but I want to see a little bit more into this combat. Let's see, so we inflicted 70 infantry, one anti-air casualty. They destroy another 200 squads of our infantry. 30... Six uh, crew, cruiser, and high personnel, and then twenty anti-tank squads. Although, well, the anti-tank squads have probably been rather useful in this because they have such a high armor that our regular infantry cannot penetrate. I think, and then fire direction squads, which aren't all that useful right now. And then Battalion HQ. Alright, let's take another increment. See if we can't... Right, so the estimation is still going wild up and down. But for the next assault we need to have some heavy uh, weaponry, I reckon. Like heavier tanks and stuff like that. Let's see, so... Oh wow, that's a lot of casualties. A lot of night squads right now. There's still a little bit of footman squads that we're losing, but... Inflicted 11 infantry and 1 anti-tank team. Yeah, it is... <laughs> not going all that well in terms of uh, casualties. Let's see... Another 10 infantry from them, and... Pretty much run out of infantry to lose right now. Still some, uh, some weaponry that we have. Let's have a look at the... Tonnage right now. Down to 26 town. Okay, well, it's actually a lot more than I thought, although 40% <laughs> of that is supply vehicles. Come to think of it, actually more than that. Yeah, no, it, it is largely supply vehicles that we have remaining. I mean, in all fairness, we do need a lot of them, but yeah, we'll need to get a lot heavy uh, army to assault this next time. Well, next time that we fight them anyway. Well, at least we learned something, so probably gonna play this battle off-screen, because as I said, we are actually out of time already. And I'll bring you guys back to something interesting. So if you enjoyed this puzzle, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye bye.